Now that we've seen a couple examples of how to test an AngularJS controller, now we'll take a look at how to test an AngularJS factory. This is a pattern we typically use where we have an AngularJS value, which is a global construct that can be accessed from the injector, and then a factory, which controls access to that construct. So in this case, we have a pie flavors method, which just gives us the flavors of each of our pies, in essence, the strings, cherry, apple, and peach, in an ordered array. Now we want to make sure this is going to behave correctly. So I've created a spec here in the managers directory. It's called dessert manager spec going along with the same name theme we've had so far. If we put that alongside the dessert manager, what I would do is describe first the dessert values. And we want to make sure that they're just instantiated to have the pie flavors we want flavors and we can just say expect equal values dot pies to equal these values and this is just our, our static kind of initialization check this data could change over time we'll describe the manager itself and here we want to actually take a look at the menu the methods and I tend to put each method in its own describe block so I'll say pie flavors I want to say it should return the three pie flavor strings and it should throw an error if there are no pie flavors. No pies, actually. Okay, those are kind of our two main cases we're worried about here. And to start, we'll say, we'll say there flavors equals factory dot pie flavors. We can expect equal the length to be 3, which is just a good basic check. And then if we want to go a little more hardcore, we can take a look at each index. This tends to only work for static data and instantiated data like this. When you're dealing with more dynamic stuff, this may not be as useful, but sometimes it's good to just, just to have the sanity checks to make sure your methods are working as you've coded them up. And then here we need to do something a little special. We want to first set the values.pies to equal null and then we actually want to set them back to their original value after this too because otherwise the value will affect other methods. So we want this to be isolated. Now we can also do this in a before each or an after each but since it's only one method I'm just going to do it right within the it block. I'm going to expect it to throw and we'll say factory dot pie flavors and this is because there's going to be no pie flavors and it's going to try and run that map method let's try and run our test right here and in addition to our controller test we wrote before it's going to run all successfully